welcome back to my channel, Kat here again, and for today, we'll be doing another quick and easy DIY project. Are you ready? Ta da! DIY face mask, and it is in pocket style. There. So, this is a pattern from Craft Passion by Joan, and this has already been made by one of my mommy vlogger friends, Debbie. So, I'll be teaching you guys how to do it in two sizes, which is in adult and in kid, kid size. And also in two ways, by using a sewing machine and by using a thread and a needle, so by hand. So, are you ready? Okay. I know definitely nakakaubusan ng face mask and this project is very time. We must do our part in um, doing home quarantine. Kaya, let's make ourselves busy and productive by doing, like for example, this project. So, if to lessen the usage of disposable face mask that probably we can allot and ano na lang, um, have the frontliners use it, gumamit na lang tayo ng um, DIY face mask at home, di ba? Para at the same time, to lessen the waste, um, we repurpose some of our readily available um, resources at home, di ba? So, let's begin. So, fabric. So, this is my daughter's old clothes. And this is woven cotton. You can do, you can use other types of fabric. So, highly suggest cotton, pair of scissors, sewing machine, thread, needle, um, safety pins, and I don't have an elastic yung ginagamit or a garter at home. What I used is my daughter's hair tie. So, I bought this from Shopee. This was around 100 pieces for 60 pesos only. Fabric chalk, if you don't have a fabric chalk, you can use a pen, you can use a pencil, anything that can, that will allow you to write on the fabric. The pattern can be printed in a craft passion site. So what if I don't have a printer? Paano ko makuha yung pattern? So I have a solution for, for that. So let me show it to you. Okay, so this is the pattern from craft passions site. This is in small kid size and if you can see there is a gauge or a reference yung scale niya kung ano ba talaga ideal ito. So, th the purpose of this is para kapag nag-print kayo alam nyo kung tama ba. Um, the materials that you need is a ruler paper or a notebook, any type of paper and pencil. You laid out the paper like that and voila get the pencil you can trace it out and cut it lang. okay so let's begin in making our DIY face mask okay so let's begin first we will be doing kid size mano mano style so by using thread and needle so before I start Let's work on with my fabric. I need to cut it open from here and slit it para play flat. Um, use the pattern to write on the inner. So you will need four panels of this. Two of this and two of this. Sa pattern, um, it is very similar. The size is similar. The, all, the only difference is, if you'll notice, this is half inch longer. Itong main fabric. Because this is the seam allowance for where your elastics will be. Then, um, once you've lined it, cut the pattern, cut cut the plotted pattern. Then, yeah, magtatahina tayo. Okay, game.
So we're done. We were able to combine the top part of our face mask and the bottom part. So we need to leave the sides open kasi pocket style yung design natin. And for, for us to be able to reverse it. Kasi it should be this one, diba? Ito yung outer. So yun. Then, we'll now go to um, cleaning up the sides. So ito, tutupi natin lang dyan. Then tatayin. And on this part, ito na. Um, we need to put on elastics. As I've mentioned, I don't have a garter or yung elastic talaga na by roll. So, what I'm going to use is my daughter's hair um, ang tawag dito? Hair tie. Yun. So, dito siya sa front or sa main. Kaya, if you'll see, it is one inch. There's a one inch allowance on the on the seam, seam allowance. And here, it's only a half inch. Kasi, dahil nga dito. So, we need to fold it, put this here. Ganyan. So, tatayin natin siya pa ganyan. Okay? Game? Okay, we're done with our first um, side and we'll do the second, the second side. So, once we're done, we can just now flip it, okay? So, if you can see, in this project, we've done lots of running stitch lang. Well, I did the side, on ba tawag blanket stitch, yon. So, elastics are secured there, then... Let's do the second part. Once you're done, then sabay-sabay tayong balik ka rin, okay? Okay, so we have now the elastics attached or stitched on both sides of our face mask. So this is the kid size. So are you ready? Let's see our finished product. So also flip it on your end while we do this tutorial. Sabay-sabay natin balik ka rin. At para magkaalaman tayo. <laughs> there you go. See? So you can wash this up prior using iron it para medyo ma-flatten yung stitches. Ganon. And there you go. Our kitty size face mask. Let me, let me pop up, pop it up yung and the bridge of the nose. Yeah, you can for better. Ano sa inyo? There you go. See, so this is our face mask for kids. So here's the elastic. All good. See? Okay. So we're done with our mano mano DIY face mask or yung kinamay. <laughs> So, hands-on DIY face mask. Face mask. See? And are well joined. You can put here two folds of tissue for added um, protection, extra layer of fiber. 
there. So moving on, we'll now work on with our adult size face mask using the sewing machine here. So this is so simple sewing machine. So do the same. Cut and trace your pattern here. Adult, um, adult naman, adult version. Then we'll now work on in sewing it using the sewing machine. Okay. So we've attached the elastics and we're done with our adult size face mask using a sewing machine and a kid size na ano, minanual natin, kinamay natin. So see, I hope you were able to follow the instruction that I have shared with you. Feel free to share me your finished project so you can tag me when you post it. And by the way, before we bid goodbye and um, meet in another video that I'm going to do, let me remind you, don't throw away your scraps like what I did before. I did not throw away my yarn scraps or my trimmings. You keep them. Yung mga pinagtabasan, yung mga malalaki, ganyan. Um, and I will share with you a project next time on my in, on my next video. I'll share it with you kung ano pa yung pwede nyo gawin dun sa mga pinagtapasan nyo. But for this one na uh, buo pa, lalo na yung mga ginamit ko kay Astrid kasi onti lang naman yung nakonsume na fabric ng kid size. You can keep this um, use it on your next project, ganun. So, and for the smock part, itong top dress I'm thinking of probably crocheting a bottom part of it. Yun. So, it would be a good sundress pa rin sa kanya. So, I hope you like my video. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Like na rin. And, if you want to be notified on how will I be able to transform this into another DIY project, hit the bell button. Okay? Thanks! Bye! Alexa? 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 Continue playing music! Here's what I found. You can import your music collection into Amazon Music. You can also say, add this to my library while listening to Prime Music. Did that answer your question? No. Can you please play a music?